Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to EETV. Today we are going to talk about oil again, but this might be the last uh, section. I'm going to deal with uh, eating oil, or otherwise known as edible oil. If you go to the market, it is likely today you see huge panels of uh, 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 oil to select from. Some sunflower oil, chef flower oil, corn oil, peanut oil, sesame oil, you name it. Among all the oils, the most well studied the most fascinating oil we can attribute to olive oil. But olive oil is controversial. I have lots of problems with it. Recently there's some study in uh, 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 University of California indicating that 70% of the oil are fake. Fake in the sense that they mix in all kinds of stuff in there, in, including hazelnut oil. That's very uh, un discomforting but I must give credit to the research workers of in the oil industry in olive oil they have a very systematic and scientific study and gave us a very good guideline to indicate what is a good o uh, olive oil what is not a good ol olive oil but let me backtrack a little bit there's a guy in China this man is uh, uh, Mr. Lee Li Qingyuan. According to legend, he lived to 256 years uh, of age, from uh, 1677 to 1933. Now, take it with a grain of salt because there's very little uh, 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 evidence exactly how old he had been. But it, it is pretty clear, according to the survivors, but don't forget this guy got a lot of uh, he got 180 descendants a lot of uh, you know based on the people surrounding him his minimum age is 170 years old okay so he should be in the uh, Guinness uh, uh, book of record the reason I backtrack to this man is because he had been very careful his entire life when it comes to eating Forget the martial art and the qigong. What is important is the, how careful he had been. This is a man who will not full, uh, fill his stomach to the, uh, to the ring. He, he would just eat barely enough to survive the day. Okay, his, this kind of care. Now, you and I go out to have a steak dinner, maybe a quarter pounder, a big hamburger, we stuff ourselves and say, mm, that's good. According to this man, it hurts. It hurts you more than you know. Okay? And part of the problem have to do with lipid. Lipid can get oxidized. Let's say you go to buy a uh, sunflower oil loaded with polyunsaturated fats. And you put it in a jar, okay, exposed to sunlight, you can initiate a free radical reaction, okay? Pretty, uh, you know, very rapidly you will have a stale oil, okay? Very seldom we would pick an oil and, uh, you know, pour it into our pan and think about this oil being unpleasant. But in fact, it can easily be toxic. If it is not toxic, this kind of oil, low with polyunsaturated fat, when you put in a pan, it can get all, uh, air oxidized and H and E will come out and that's carcinogenic, very carcinogenic. Okay, you can demonstrate that experiment after experiment. So it's a choice, a care, careful choice of oil is vital for your family and that's priceless. So as far as, as, far as I'm concerned, if I'm gonna use olive oil, I would choose extra virgin olive oil the cream of the crop of the west now as a demonstration i want to show you that it has not it has something to do with the price for example this oil here number eight i have chosen it came from a uh, 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 a porcelain jar it's a beautiful jar the jar itself is precious 
but you can see when I shine a uh, green laser on it it got a fluoresce into a uh, 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 orange color okay reddish orange color in other words that it goes uh, I can show you the spectrum it, it will pretty much go to the red spectrum but I, this is where I shoot in I shoot in with this kind of wavelength and it end up having here okay that's typical okay if you go to the uh, as a chemist uh, I'm always very curious okay and if you look at the uh, let me see where's the my chart if you see the the this is the excitation okay and uh, this is the fluorescence okay that we call Japonsky uh, diagram okay suffice to say that it's a cheap laser you can find out from, uh, you can find out what is good and what's bad this is also a brain name relatively expensive okay it doesn't fluoresce it's a wrong it's a wrong oil this is not extra virgin it does not meet the definition this one barely make it and I dope it both of them are not cheap so price is not the not just the determinant so on. what are you gonna do with it okay I think United States government Chinese government Hong Kong I don't care where labeling labeling law need to be strictly adhered because this level of care for our health is priceless it's not something you can just play with when you label extra virgin olive oil it better be extra virgin olive oil and there's a reason for it extra virgin olive oil contains a lot of minor chemicals polyphenols vitamin E and huge huge number of chemicals we don't need to list all of them I'm going to tell you they're very very important it is through this kind of care and time that will make a difference in a uh, in a person's health eventually because a lot of these little benefits are cumulative okay. forget just the olive oil that's something that has been a, a westernized a westernization tendency in recent history especially here in Hong Kong which is a hybrid hybridized society what is vital to realize is that there is another alternative okay uh, that's 90% it occupies 99% of the market all right forget the West forget Japan forget anywhere else nine over 90% some said it's 99% of the market uh, 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 have been occupied by Chinese and equally troublesome as uh, some of these oils are adulterated and I'm very unhappy about it and it's a matter of how you choose and what is the best and uh, here I want to present to you a company that had uh, helped me along to, uh, for my research okay the best in Chinese it's called Da Yi Ping okay and there are two of such oils one is called the uh, Camellia Olifera we call it Cha Ziyo the other one is called Tea Leaf just like the Oolong Tea okay Tea Leaf uh, oil and that one uh, we call it Camellia sinensis. Uh, okay, so the two different types. Of, let's call the leaf oil. Let me abbreviate: the leaf oil and the seed uh, and the uh, seed oil. Chemical composition-wise, both are very very close. So if you make some mistake in getting one of them, either one of them, no big deal. What is the big deal is this. Uh, olifera, uh, Camellia olifera contains a uh, little bit less, a um, uh, um, little bit, uh, my actual can, can mostly oleic acid and far more so than olive oil. As far as the minor compositions, chemically speaking, this is a very superior oil. If and only if you get the pure stuff. 
and Ba Yiping Company happens to be one of them. Although I, uh, I reserve my right to further investigate this oil because it, it just takes time. I'm going to bring the, your attention to the, uh, uh, the, the uh, there's two lines here, two types of oil, Olifera, Sinesis. Okay, these are the Chinese name and, it's, uh, and uh, that's that. The beauty is, like I mentioned earlier, oxidation. They are very uh, resistant to oxidation. It's not like the sunflower oil you put in a pot, pan, you fry an egg and this, the whole oil becomes uh, stale. I've done that experiment. You will have HNE. You will have carcinogens. Okay, this is the oil to use. The smoke point is 250 degrees Celsius. It'll take a long time before it goes into any bad damage. This is the oil that will help you with diabetes. This is the oil that will protect your heart, your cholesterol level, minimize your triglycerides, surprisingly, right? Eh? And uh, it will also it's very protective for your uh, uh, blood and heart disease. And some studies even uh, uh, help to, you know, for chemotherapy. Some says they can even, it's anti-cancer. Okay, take your pick. And medical claims is very hard to make, but suffice to say with 2,000 years of history. Okay, I must respect that. Also, on top of that, I personally have tested it for some minor aspect. My father-in-law, he was constipated for a long, long time. Couple of spoonful of that uh, TC oil, bingo. You know, back to normal. I had, uh, uh, I was mildly diuretic, probably some perfringes uh, 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 contamination. And a uh, spoonful of that, bingo. There are huge amount of uh, very useful uh, remedies as, uh, associated with this TSO, TC oil. Remember there are two types of them, okay? And over 90% of them are uh, Camellia oleifera. The key issue, okay, it's just like the olive oil market how much trust you can place in this particular brand so ladies and gentlemen when you find a brand you can trust stay with it and that's the way to go thank you very much <laughs>